How's it going, everybody? My name is Matt Wells. You're watching Juno TV, and look who we found. Mother Mother. Hey, Mother Mother. Hi. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hey. Well, yes. how are you? I'm great, thank you. You're, You're welcome. Very nice of you to ask. It was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a couple things, uh, my own mental housekeeping I have to get out of the way before we get into the meat of this interview. That's okay. Of course. It's crucial. Now, I never would in an interview, and very rarely have I, asked about a band's name, but I need to know if the name came from a Monster Magnet song, or if anyone's ever asked you that. No and no. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. no. Mm -mm. Okay, because I think we should change the narrative of where you got the band name. Come up with a new story. Monster mm -hmm. Magnet, yeah. awesome stoner rock band, had a song called Space Lord, and the chorus is Space Lord, Mother, Mother. And as I was thinking about interviewing you guys this week, that song came into my head. I was like, There's, for sure, that's where it came from. And then I started trying to find if anyone ever asked you, and no one did, which makes me more angry that it's not the actual story. So not really a now. question, just a statement, and maybe a suggestion that we change the narrative. I don't know if we can cut to a clip. I don't know if we are allowed to do that. But you cut to a Monster Man clip, and it will look so cool. Yeah, I think that's a great I'm idea. I'm down. It's a way better story way than the actual better. story. A lot of the articles I read in the interviews uh, for this last album, all seem to start with the same thing. Every journalist would want to would want to write, "Indie darlings, move on to major label debut." And I and I started thinking, is that a big deal anymore? Do people really care about that idea of indie band to major label? It used to be a thing. At a time, there was like a big deal, like, "Oh, now you're not indie anymore." But do people even care about that anymore? I think there's two people that digest the information. Those are the layman's and those are the people intimate with the nature of the music business. The latter being people who don't care. There's nothing changed with, with what you're doing. Well, I mean, it's new people. It's a bigger team. Maybe there's a little bit more money. Maybe there's a little more outreach. But it's not changing you. No, no. It's, well, I mean, a band like us, we've been together for so long by the point, uh, by the time we signed a major label deal that we were kind of unchangeable. Right. Like a major label just kind of knew what they were getting. Mm -hmm. If, say, we got signed in the, the young days of our identity coming into its own, it would have made more sense for a label to right. try and manipulate that a bit more. Got it. Because there's a lot of growing pains that comes with that time anyway. Right. So in our particular case, yeah, you, you can't change us. Don't we are try. who we are. Don't even try. So why would you want to? It's perfect. <laughs> what struck me listening to your music was a lot of the words that you choose to use. There's a lot of words that I don't generally hear people use in a, in a song, but you, you do it and it sounds great. For instance, in Shout If You Know, um, rest your lips soliloquist, take a tip from the old Carthusians. Carthusians. Like, yeah. like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah. No one to nothing. Um, this is just a really nice line. I am an abstraction burning with the sun, which is just a really lovely lyric. Yeah, it's not too hard to grasp. And then, um, so, oh, and jump the fence. So we could be two lings in a freak show? No. Is that not that's right? That's not right. What, so What is that? Two right. rings in a freak show. So as like there's a three ring circus. Oh, of two see, rings. I didn't know. You see, two rings. Two rings. Oh, well, I know what that means. Yeah, and but doesn't doesn't take away from the fact that that you use really great. Your vocabulary is great, and here's what I wanted to ask. You, your mother owned a bookstore, and still does. Right. So, and and you are the artist of the band. Mm -hmm. So I guess I wanted to know about growing up in that bookstore and how much of an impact that had on your the words and and the and the art that you create I wonder I, if it did yeah I think it had a huge impact on me I always had a ready supply of art books and picture books and I was allowed to cut them up and I was horrific with new books I would make collages go in my mom's store and take all this stuff it was a it was a great time and <laughs> reading about all sorts of different things how about you did you read a lot um, <coughs> I kind of got into it in my teens. Um, yeah, I was slow to get into the reading, but it's cool. Like I, I still will email my mom for books. I don't go to the bookstore. Like I emailed her yesterday to get an Alan Watts book. 
called um, Psychology East and West. Have you heard of that book? No. And she, she emailed me back. She said, well, son, it's out of print, but there's this one bookstore in London, Ontario <laughs> that carries it, so I have reached out, and I'll let you know if I can get my hands on it. And that's amazing. Yeah, that, that's the best. She's that source. I you get all my books from her. Yeah. I pretty much do, too, actually. And she picks them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She disowned us if we had a Kindle. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Is there is there a super mother mother fan who has like your artwork tattooed on his neck? Yeah. Yeah. What? Tell me about that. That's amazing. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant. Yeah. What does he have tattooed? The he fish. Has the rooster. He has all the covers. And the fish. Most of the covers. And the scratches. Yeah. And, and his he, neck. He named all three. His daughter uh, Molly Jean after Molly and the old singer Deborah Jean. No offense, Jeremy. No, none taken at all. His I next daughter will be named Jasmine. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. He's totally. very sweet. That's, yeah. that's, pr that's incredible. And he's a great yeah. guy. Yeah. Like, it's not spooky. He's just really sweet. That's success. We yeah. give, we give that's him success. There you go. What did you say? We, we give him guests. He has, like, eternal guests. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Eternal. <laughs> I hope eternal. so. <laughs> Long after we're gone, he'll still be on our guest list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It nice was great to you. chat with you, Monster Magnet. Thank you. I really appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> I like it's it. Tracy Bonham, actually. <laughs> she has a song called Mother Mother. Is that where it came from? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Mother Mother. If you liked that, do 79 push ups. Just joking. If you like what you just heard and would like to hear some more songs by us, just click down there. There's a couple more songs right down there. Just click away. Click down there. Click it down there. I learned that I'm on key tree. So come and